Good morning, everybody. Um, I know that somebody has already apologized for the rain, but I will officially do that. Um, although uh, on Sunday we came dangerously close to a very serious interface fire here in our community. If it wasn't for the great action of our fire department, uh, I probably wouldn't be here this morning because I would be down at the Emergency Operations Centre. But fortunately, uh, disaster averted, at least for now. And I can tell you that uh, my council colleagues and our fire department are very happy to see some rain. But of course, it looks like it's going to clear up for you this afternoon and the rest of the time that you're here. So please enjoy. And, and hopefully uh, you didn't enjoy too much Okanagan wine last night and that uh, this morning is, is still uh, a good start. Uh, you're off to a good start this morning. Um, but thank you for, for choosing Kelowna uh, to host this very important international conference. Uh, as you just heard uh, in the news report, uh, the intent of this gathering is to mobilize the power and highlight the responsibilities of institutions of higher education to provide exceptional learning opportunities for students, to develop vibrant camp campus communities where everyone thrives, and to advance knowledge and practices relevant locally and globally. Those are honorable and ambitious goals, and given the outstanding lineup of visiting medical practitioners, professors, directors, chairpersons, researchers, administrators, policy makers, and undergraduate students from around the world, I have no doubt that you will achieve these lofty targets. The exploration of pressing issues, the identification of promising paths for healthy and sustainable campus development, and the interaction and exchange of knowledge amongst such a diverse group of people make this a worldwide, one-of-a-kind, historical, and fascinating conference. I am impressed by the intent to co-design a new international charter to inspire and guide future action moving forward based on the decade-old Edmonton Charter for health-promoting universities and institutions of higher education. You will be making history and designing paths for the future that will become the global template for other campuses and communities. Very exciting and inspiring indeed. And what better place to do this than here in the Okanagan? I hope you take time to hike, golf, visit wineries, shop, dine, or simply relax and enjoy our beautiful vistas after all your hard work here at the conference. Or go one step further, and maybe, you know, go out and buy a condo. I, I wouldn't be doing... I, I, the knowledge-based economy is growing very rapidly here, and I wouldn't be doing my job as mayor if I didn't tell you that we would love to have you here as residents and doing your great work here in Kelowna. So thank you for coming to Kelowna to attend this important conference. I hope you enjoy yourselves and find the time uh, you invested here was time well spent. So please come back, or like I say, come back permanently, uh, but we hope to see you again in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it's now my pleasure to move forward. Uh, let me this. We are now going to talk about the charter development process, which is one of the main uh, events that has brought us together here today and for the next few days. And so to uh, tell us a little bit about that process, I want to welcome uh, to the front Sharon Doherty, uh, from, who is the Healthy University Coordinator, Health Settings Unit at the University of Central Lancashire, Lancashire and Tara Black, Association Director, Health Promotion Within Health and the Counseling Services at Simon Fraser University. So I welcome both Sharon and Tara to the front. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So I'm Tara and... Hello, I'm Sharon. And uh, so we are the co-chairs of the Charter Working Group. And on behalf of the Charter Working Group, uh, we're very excited to be here to talk to you a little bit about the Charter Development process. And just to give you a little bit of background, our working group was formed back in December. And this group has been working hard ever since towards this conference and the Charter document. The new Charter builds off the Edmonton Charter. Uh, that was created in 2005. And the new charter is intended to reflect the latest thinking and research in health promotion practice 
including the integration of health in all policies and systemic approaches. The Charter is meant to provide a tool to guide and inspire action, to engage diverse campus stakeholders, and mobilize international action towards, the, towards a shared vision for health-promoting universities. The Charter Working Group, acting on behalf of the Conference Planning Committee, undertook a process prior to this conference to elicit input for the Charter. This was through a, an examination of the literature as well as existing charters and a pre-consultation survey as well as interviews with experts in higher education and health promotion fields. Input has been received from administrators, researchers, students, health promotion practi practitioners and experts as well as others. And in total, at this point, we've had over 200 people from 54 countries provide input. And I'm sure many of the people who have provided input are here in this room today and we very much thank you for participating so far. And um, all of this pre-consultation work has culminated in draft one of the charter, which was emailed out yesterday. It's also available on the conference website, and it will be available in the design lab. The charter document has taken shape through this pre-conference -con consultation process, but now we're excited about how it will take shape from here. With input from delegates at this conference, um, we have a very unique opportunity to together um, provide input, uh, critique the draft. Uh, we want to hear your ideas in further shaping uh, and launching the charter uh, throughout the conference. And by the end of the day on Thursday, we will have a final version of the charter document. Good morning, everyone. I'm very pleased to be here. I'm um, going to outline the ways that people can participate um, into the charter process. But before outlining how you can do that, we just wanted to share how your feedback will be incorporated into the document. Um, we have a synthesis and a writing team that we know will be working very hard because we've set ourselves a very ambitious target over the next three days. Um, and we'll be working with your feedback and there'll be a second draft um, write, written for Thursday morning. So the idea is that the next two days will be very much encouraging feedback and then on the Thursday morning there'll be some more time to look at that but that's more fine tuning and really checking out that we've heard what you were saying and we've included that. Because uh, we also got a lot of feedback around how people are not just interested in the charter, but also what comes after the charter. How we can all take that charter back and make it very useful and relevant in our universities and in our regions and countries. So we'll also spend time on that on Thursday. So how can you actually get um, involved in the charter process? Um, in your packs, uh, you all have a flyer here. And this is a reminder if... Um, you, 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 for the details of the rooms and so on. So the first part is the design lab in the EME building, room 1123. And that's a really fun space that's been created, lots of interactive activities to inspire you and to take part. So even if you only have a few minutes or you have a bit more time, uh, you'll get a very warm welcome there and we really welcome your views. The second way is to tweet and that is hashtag design the charter. So that's really useful for at any time, any day, um, any night, if, if you're like me and still waking up at odd times in the night because of jet lag. Think tweet, think the charter <laughs> so, uh, before you sneeze off again. So, um, and then the, um, the, the third way is we also have some sticky notes in the pack, so if you prefer to write down, and then just come along to the design lab and pop those into us and they'll also be included. And you may have also noticed, if you need any more incentive, there is actually a prize. So everybody who contributes will get, will get there'll be one prize for $150, a chance to win there. Um, so really it just uh, remains to be said that the whole writing team, the charter team, are really looking forward to the debate, the views, and inspiring each other over the next few days in writing the charter together. <laughs> 